I'm Gordon Vanderpool from Franklin, North Carolina with Turning Stones Fly Fishing and I'm going to give you a few tips on how to set the hook while you're fly fishing. What you're going to need is access to an experienced guide. Let's say, let's start with a dry fly. So you fired it out there, you're 40 feet out and you're just holding the line, you're waiting for the trout to come up and eat the fly. You see him come up and eat it, sometimes it's a slow gradual take, sometimes it's a hard splashy take. And what a lot of people do, they'll see the splash and they set the hook really hard and they pull it out of the trout's mouth before he actually gets a chance to bite down on it. So when you're fishing with a dry fly, the way I do it, and this is my opinion, I watch for a trout and I try to stay patient. I really focus on the fly. And if I see a trout come up and take it, I just literally come tight. It's not a hard set. The harder the set will be dependent on how much line I have out, how much line I have to pick up off the water. So there's a lot of variations. Close, you can just lift. It's really timing as opposed to how hard you do it. The reason timing is so important while you're setting the hook for trout is you have a hook, okay? Trout think it's a fly, so they're gonna bite down on it, and if they feel the pinch of that hook before you've set it, what are they gonna do? They spit it out immediately. And they can do that in record speed sometimes. Sometimes they hold on to it and you think they'll never let go. You can make many mistakes, but sometimes they'll grab it and spit it immediately. So timing comes into play and it's very important. The way I teach people, they just do a basic little roll cast upstream and they're going to be fishing as the indicator goes by them either that way or this way depending on which way I place them on the river and I tell them if it does anything other than float normal okay I use my fist as an indicator it's going like this and I tell them if it twitches set it if it goes under a little bit set it if it slam dunk set it if it even stops moving set it so you want to look for anything that the current is not causing so in your head you have to be looking okay that's normal with the current so if it does that, I need to set. So anything other than normal, and I can't stress that enough, I always tell them hook sets are free, you can set all day. So if it, anything, twitches, set the hook. Those are just a few tips and pointers on how to properly set the hook while you're fly fishing.